Hey guys, it's Agosti Dilmer again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on Air Foundation. I show you how to detect the body with body tracking technology and also how to detect the gesture as soon as we lift our hands. So what I'm gonna be doing today is we're gonna be lifting our hand to basically spawn superpowers. So this is gonna be the last video of that series. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing today, which is to add superpowers as soon as we're pointing our hand towards the camera. So I did a video, two videos before where we were detecting that so this is implemented semi-implemented i still have to add the spawning of the particles so what happens with this scene and if you haven't watched the previous video i'm going to put it in the description i just wanted to say that just to make sure that you watch that before you watch this one but basically what we're doing on that video is as soon as we're lifting our hand up to this point right here we are printing well even if we're doing either if we're doing the left hand or the right hand we're basically printing that information in the debug area. So I'll show you that code so that you understand. So what I'm going to be doing today is we're going to be spawning particles on the on our hands. So and we're also going to be looking at a rate. So I'm just going to say, you know, after a certain time, we're going to be spawning a particle and then we're going to add forces that allow us to spawn that towards the camera. So if we look at this, this is going to be on the Z axis. So I need to do that on the it's actually on the negative value. So if you look at if you look at this right now, and as, I, as I'm going into the opposite direction of the skeleton, the z-axis is incrementing. So we're going to be we're going to be looking at how how that works. I need to experiment with it as well to make sure that we get it right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the particle systems that I have right now, and we can. So I have a lot of particles effects here, and what I'm going to do actually is I have another. Oh, here we go. I have another skeleton that already has the particles and we're going to be looking i'm just going to be stealing one from them and i believe i have one in the head that i really like if we look at that so that's one of the the ones that i really like let's look at the one on the hands i think the one on the hands is fine as well so what i'm going to do is let's go ahead and unwrap this whole thing and then i'll just go ahead and, and grab that prefab so the one that I like is going to be this one. So let's go ahead and move this up right here. There we go. And then this one is just going to be, we can just call it superpowers. Superpowers particle. All right. So now I don't need the skeleton. I have that. And I'm also going to be using resources. So let's go ahead and drag it and drop it here. And then one thing that I want to make sure that I don't have is this is all set to 000. So I don't want to have any anything left over whatsoever. And then let me just drag it and drop it, make sure that everything is good. Okay, so I think, oh, and I don't want to have any rotation either. So let me go back into the prefab and make sure that this is all set to 000. Perfect. Let me go back here. And actually what I could have done is just do it right here and then we can just apply it. Just do overwrite. Okay, there we go. And then we can look at the, there we go. I think that's fine. So that's the, that's the particle effect that we're going to be using for superpowers. So now what I need to do is I need to implement something that is going to allow us to do such an action. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and go into scripts. And then we're going to create a new script. And we can just call this one super powers, super power spawner. Or we can do the opposite, spawn super powers. I think that's, I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and open it up. Give it a second here to open. And maybe I already had it open. There we go. All right, so one thing that I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need to load the prefab that I'm gonna be spawning. So I could load that from basically from memory from the resources folder and then spawning and spawn that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a name. So this is going to be, or what we can do is we can just do game object and then just add and just basically associate it with this component as a prefab. So this is going to be the superpowers prefab. 
So this is what we're going to be using for as a, as a starting point. And we're just going to be serializing this. So another variable that I'm going to need is I'm going to need to know how fast I want to spawn the particle. So I'm just going to add a flow. And this is going to be called frequency. Okay, we can just say, okay, every point, point 0.5, half of a half of a second, we're going to be spawning. And I'm going to also make it serializable. And then I think that I think that's fine. That's going to be our max. So as as another variable that is not going to be exposed is going to be one that is tracking the time. So I'm just going to say time elapse, and then I'm just going to set I'm just going to set that one to zero. Perfect. And we don't need to do anything on the start, but we do need to do something on the update. And we're going to be using actually fix update because I'm going to be applying physics. So let's go ahead and use fix updates. And just remove all that. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I need something that can increment the time elapse. So I'm just going to say time elapse is plus and equal to time, the delta time. And we're just going to multiply it by 1. OK, so now that we have that, I need to check, OK, if the time elapse is greater than or equal to the frequency, then we're going to be spawn, spawning a particle. And just say spawn particle. So, and then the, the other thing that I need to do, I need to clear or, or timer. Otherwise, we won't, we won't be able to start from zero. It's just going to spawn one, and then you know it'll be done. So this will just go through and say, OK, I'm going to increment the time. And one good idea about this one, we can probably just do this one at the end. And then as soon as we hit the max, then we're going to set it to zero, and then we're going to spawn the particle. And then we'll start over and, and keep doing that you know, based on the time elapse. So I think what we could do here is just let's go ahead and do a higher number, and then we can just tweak it. All right, so now that we have that, I need to do uh, basically instantiate the game object. We can just say game object, and we can say superpowers or superpower, and then equal, and we're just saying instantiate. We'll grab our superpower, prefab, and then this is going to tell us the position. I'm just going to set it to vector 3 as 0. And then also the rotation is just going to be identity. So now that we have that, now we should be able to at least test this piece and make sure that it is spawning all the superpowers. So the other thing that I also want to do, I don't want to keep those in memory. Otherwise, it's going to crash. So we need to also give it another variable that is going to say destroy after seconds. And we can just say we're going to destroy it after, we can just say after 10 seconds. Or we can say five seconds, and we can see how that goes. And what I'll do here, I'll just say destroy superpowers, and then comma, and then we'll just give it our time. It's going to be destroy superpowers after x seconds. So, and then this actually needs to go back here. Reset timer they should actually call should be called timer okay think that works and we have that so let's go ahead and test this before before I add any physics and let's go back into our game right here and then what I'm gonna do is on this one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and uncheck on unpack it completely and then I'm going to go into my left hand, and we're going to be focusing on this left hand for now. And what I want to do on the left hand, specifically in the cube, I'm going to be adding a new component. So this is a bone tracker, but I also need to do the spawn superpowers. I also need to select which prefab we're going to be spawning. So I'm going to go into my resources and then associate that. And then we can find out if this is going to work as soon as we hit play. And let's go back into our scene. So the frequency is set to one second. And you can see that the powers are getting spawned, but they're not getting spawned on the cube, which is where I need it to be, because that's where the position of the hand is going to be. So let's fix that. So I need to do one more thing here. So I need to say superpowers, that pairing, that transform, that pairing. It's going to be the this game object, actually. So I'm just going to say this transform. 
So now we can go back here and then test that again. Let's go back into Unity. And give it a second. Now hit play. Go back here and let me make sure that that is happening. And I'm gonna set this to zero, zero, zero. So where are my okay, they're actually getting a spawn there. But the other thing that I that I'm noticing too is the position of these are not the right positions. Uh, let me see, let me check why. Uh, we're starting at zero, zero, zero. So what I could do is, there's two things that I could do. I could reset the position after I parent it, or I could set the position of this to be the position of this component. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say superpowers, the position, transform, the position it's going to be a vector 3.0 let's try that i think i think that's going to work if it doesn't work then we'll do something else and okay now that we're done let's go ahead and hit play and go in here and then yeah i think i don't think there i don't think it's working as quite as i want it to work so what we're going to do here is where we're setting the position i'm going to say the position of the of the actual object that I have. So I'm just gonna say transform that position. And let's go ahead and try that again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep this right here. And they're still not quite right. Let me set it back to zero. Let's try this again on the, but this in this case, I'm gonna do local local position it's gonna be a zero 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 let me just go ahead and resize this window okay let's try this again and this is gonna be the position that I want them to start and looks like looks like it's not working but now it's like super tiny you can see that the the particles are just very very small and that's because it's using the scale of this object. And let me see what we can do to fix that. So if I add that, and let's go ahead and change this to say like 10, 10, and 10. All right, I think I figured it out. I just needed to change the size of the particle. So I think I'm gonna do something like 15. I think 15 works. And let me just change the X, Y, and Z of that. We'll leave the scale as it is. And I'm going to, it's actually changing back to 111. And then I'll just apply the particle. And we can just go ahead and restart it just to make sure that that works. All right, let's go ahead and try that one more time just to make sure. I'm gonna hit play. And we can now see the particles getting spawned in, in the hand position. So, so, so far so good, that's looking good. So what we need to do as well is in this prefab, I need to make sure that I add physics because right now there's really nothing that it's going to be applying forces to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a component and this one is gonna be a rigid body component. This is what's gonna allow us to basically apply forces towards it. And I think that's everything that I'm gonna need right now. Let's go ahead and go back and hit play and make sure that those particles are now falling because there are physics associated with them and you can see that now they're now they're falling in the there we go so now what i need to do is let's go ahead and apply some forces let's see if we can get the spawner to apply forces so i'm just going to add another component here another meta and this one is going to be apply force and then i'm going to be taking the game object geo and i'm just going to say geo get component and the component that I need is the rigid body because that's the one that is going to have the the physics. So I'm just going to say rigid body, rigid body equal. Awesome. So I need to tell it a direction. So I'm going to go ahead and say rigid body, the apply force. I think it's actually add force, and it's going to tell us to to choose a direction. So I'm just going to say vector three that four. And the force mode, I'm going to be using, let's go ahead and just use force. Let's try that. And then another variable that I'm going to need is also the force that is going to be applied. Force 
and we can just start let's just start with a long number and we can see how that I because I'm using some we're using AR I don't know how big this number needs to be so I think that it's good and then what I'll do here is I'll just say apply for superpowers and we can just say I think that method name resembles what it's doing so we don't need to do anything special now let's go ahead and go back into unity and I want to see how that looks let's go ahead and hit play and maybe the forces are way too big or maybe not and they're actually not that big so let's go ahead and increment the force increment it even more increment it even more and I'm not seeing oh there we go now we're seeing some some changes but they're going in the they're going in the opposite direction so the well, we can just do a negative number I think that's fine but the problem here though is if I look at the let's see if I look at the axis here this is using the the rotation of the cube what I need is the rotation of the hand so if I look at the hand this is not following the the proper direction and I'm also looking at so this is looking at global yeah so see this is using global right now to apply the the direction so what I need to do is I want to look at local and then I want to spawn it on the local forward direction let me see if I can if we can figure that out all right guys so what, what I ended up doing is I had to use the forward direction and a transform direction from the pairing so the way that I did it is I did a rigid body that at force a position I pass in the pairing transform direction vector 3 forward and then multiply that by a force and the results of that is this and I'm also using a negative number so that we can do we can go on the opposite direction of the skeleton and it sounds like I need to go even further so we can just do something like that or let's try let's try 5000 and see if that gives us what we want yeah I think negative 5000 is a good number so we'll go with negative 5000 I also added a reference to the camera because I was experimenting with other things so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that we don't need that and I think I'm good with everything else let's go back and make sure so the frequency is set to every one second and if we hit play I think that it's what I want awesome so if I go ahead and change the rotation here you can see how the rotation of the particle is changing and that's basically what's going to happen in the game is when I move my hand it's going to change the rotation we're going to be just spawning a lot of different particles and every five seconds seems to be okay when we destroy them you can see that they're getting destroyed right about here and I think that distance is perfect all right I think I'm happy with these results I'm going to go ahead and copy this and in fact we can just set this to I think the rotation of that is okay let's go ahead and change this and hit copy and I need to do that on the right hand so I'm going to go into my right shoulder right arm right forearm right hand and then go into this component and then paste the component as new now I should be seeing particles going into both directions and I think I'm going to have to change the force on the other one yeah I figure because that one it needs to go in the opposite direction so I'm going to hit play now they should all be one going in that side and one going to the other side so I think I'm happy with I'm happy with that so the last thing that I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and change this 0 0 0 and then let's go ahead and change this back to 0 let me make sure that I have the right scaling on the skeleton so I'm just going to select another skeleton that I already created before and it's set to 111 let me make sure this is 111 as well and if I look at this one it's going to put in side to side just to make sure they didn't change anything okay so I think all of that is good and perfect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this one and then if you look at this one we can just say skeleton transparent with superpowers I think that's fine we can just delete this one right here and then just add this one we're going to have a new one and then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it from the hierarchy but I'm also going to be reassociating that with my human body tracker log and there we go and that should be everything that we need to do to get this working so the next thing that I need to do is let's go ahead and build it 
and test it. So I'm just going to check that and then uncheck the last scene. I'm going to hit build and we're going to be putting it on my desktop. So I'm going to say superpowers and then hit save. And as soon as this is done and running on my device, I'll show you the results. All right, guys, so I got this running on my device and I want to show you some of the results. So the one on the left is the first demo where I have the skeleton showing and also the debug area. So I'm just going to play that and show you. It's not 100% accurate, but you can see as I, as I lift my hand, it's basically tracking the, you know, whether my hand is above the spine and also spawning particles. So I'm doing this right here and then they're spawning, you know, based on the location of my hand. And then the one on the right, I decided to just make the, the skeleton invisible. So now you can see that, you know, as I, as I do a particle, as I leave my hand, is actually spawning particles. And like I said, I think I need some improvements because there's there's some gaps between the hand and the particles. And, and also I don't have the best view on the camera, but you know, sometimes it, it works really well. Sometimes it just doesn't work really well. And I think it's just some of the settings that I have, but I'm pretty happy for the most part. So what I want to show you next is some of the things that I, that I implemented for this video. So in the previous video, I show you the apply powers. I also show you that, you know, I could detect whether the hand was above the spine. And then this is basically the same code that I had before, except now I have a spawn superpowers that I'm getting from the left hand and also from the right hand. And then all I'm doing is, you know, if I detect that the hand is above the spine, then I start the superpowers on the left hand and then the same thing with the right hand. So this is pretty straightforward and this is going to be in GitHub so you can look at it on your own time and spend more time looking at it. And then this implementation here is just basically applying forces to a rigid body that has particle effects. So like I say, go through and look at it. I just have a timer here that runs as soon as I hit the frequency. Once I hit the frequency, I instantiate the particle system. Then I add the particle system to the parent. I reset the local position. I apply forces so that we can apply those forces to the rigid body. Basically, we're applying forces on the forward direction. And then we multiply that by a force. And then I'm just incrementing the timer elapse here. As soon as I hit the frequency, I spawn another another particle. And then, you know, as soon as I do, I, I do that, I reset it back to zero so that we can spawn another one. And then I have some settings in here that you can use to you know, declare or associate what superpower you want, which in my case is gonna, it's just a particle effect. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. Just make sure that you check in GitHub because that's where I'm gonna be putting it. Thank you. All right guys, thank you much for watching this video today. I really appreciate you them. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for the developers, also great forums and a lot of information for people that are starting out. Also find me in patreon.com where I'm posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much guys.